everyone on your back in Shavasan. Let's prepare yourself for the class. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Watch your body from toes to the head. Let go in each part of the body. Let go in the mind. Be in the present moment. Every inhalation, feel the abdomen expand, feel the whole body expand. And every exhalation, allow the abdomen to contract in, the body sinking down into the mat. Breathe deeply, breathe slowly with full awareness. Conscious breathing, bringing oxygen and energy to the cells, recharging the body, recharging the mind. Relax, relax for a couple of breaths, just let go. Take a deep breath in, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head and give a good stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn to one side. Please sit up for the prayer. Let's stand together. Gajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapit Jambo Palasari Bakshika Umasutam Shokavinashi Karanam Namami Vigne Shura Pada Pankajam Shurananam Kumkumarakta Varnam Mahamatim Devimayura Vahanam Rudrasisunam Surasendinatam Guham Sadaham Sharanam Prabhate Ya kundain du tu shar har du bra, ya shubra vastra vita, ya vina varadanda manditikara, ya shweta padmasana, ya brahma juti shankara prabriti ve, deva isada pujita, samam padu saraswati bhagwati, nishe shadarya paha, om namashivaya guru ve, satitan and the mutai. Nishprabanchaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda Ate Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Ate Namaha, Om Sarva Mangala Mangale, Shive Sarvarta Sadike, Sharanye Trimbake Gauri, Narayani Namostute, Narayani Namostute, Om Shanti. 
Om Namah Shivaya. Welcome to the class. Let's get ready for the practice. Kapalabhati, back straight. Hands on the knees in chain mudra. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The first round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one Comfortable deep long breath. Gently hold the breath. Keep the body relaxed. Mind focused at the third eye center or the heart center. With control, slowly exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do the next round of Kapalapati. <coughs> Inhale deeply and begin. Anju, 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 anju. Hunt you, 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 hunt you
do, 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 do,
left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, on eight. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on eight. Gentle breath retention. Be aware of every moment. Let go in the mind, be in the present. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on eight. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, three, on four. Gently hold. Face relaxed, neck, head, and the shoulders relaxed. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four, retain. Watch your body. Watch the mind. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath gently, close the nostrils. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath gently. It's the last round, seventh round. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, last retention. To the left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down, hands on the knees in chain mudra. Relax the body. Stay with your eyes closed. 
breathe natural and normal, enjoying the inner peace, inner silence. Kapalabhati balances the nervous system and it tones the digestive organs. Alternate nostril breathing balances the flow of energy in the left and the between the left and the right sides of the body. Now keeping the eyes closed, please stretch your legs and lie down. Take rest on your back in Shavasana. Let go in the body, relax completely with the breath, not allowing the mind to wander. Take rest. Slowly bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, give a nice stretch to the body, stretch the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees to the chest and move the body side to side three to four times, knees to the right and head to the left. And now bring the hands under the thighs and drop the body forward and backward a couple of times. Then you stand up for Surya Namaskar. Just generating some heat in the spinal column in the body. By doing this, getting better prepared for Surya Namaskar. Come to the front of the mat. Let's take two breaths in here. Exhale, inhale, feel a sense of lengthening and exhale, feel a sense of grounding. Now get ready for the first round of Surya Namaskar, feet together as you inhale, exhaling, join the palms together to the chest, inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back, exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up, take it easy in the first two rounds. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank, body in a straight line. Exhaling, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slight inhale into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks, look to the toes in vertically. Inhale, the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, stretch your chin up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up. Push the buttocks forward and look up. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale. Join the palms together to the chest. Inhale, arms to purge back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Follow your breath. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide into the cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Push the heels down, hands down, push the chest down. Inhale, the left leg forward. Left foot between the hands and stretch your chin up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale. Stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Next round. <clears throat> Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, arms to purge back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, 
Bring the right leg forward, right foot between the hands and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Stretch up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. <clears throat> Hold the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back, cobra. Exhale, tap the toes, lift your buttocks, look to the toes, push the chest down. Inhale, the left leg forward, left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, push the bodies forward and look up. Exhale, release. Third round. Let's stretch a little more than the previous rounds. Inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lengthen up the body and arch back by pushing the buttocks nicely forward. Look up to the hands. Exhale, lengthen the body forward. Reach forward and then reach down. Align the hands and the feet. Bring the chest close to the thighs. Forehead close to the legs anywhere. Inhale, right leg back. All the way back. Look up. Don't lean on the right. Keep the pelvis square centered. Hold the breath. Take the left leg back into the plank. Tuck the abdomen in. Keep the back straight like a tabletop. Align the wrist and the shoulders. Don't hold tension in the neck. Exhaling knees, chest and the forehead down. Keep the buttocks nicely raised up. Inhale, slide forward. Arch back, cobra, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks, look to the toes, inverted V. Let's hold the posture and breathe here. Pushing the heels more down. Push the mat forward with your hands and push the chest down, keeping the head in line with the arms. Tailbone lifted up. Contract the abdomen in. As you push the chest down, feel the length of the spine, breadth of the chest and the length of the spinal column. Slow down the breathing. Allow the blood to flow towards the heart and towards the head. Multiple benefits of one posture. Keep the knees straight, stretching the hamstring as you push the heels more down. On the inhalation, move the right leg forward, right foot between the hands and move the left leg more back, look up. Don't lean the body to the left. On the exhalation, bring the left leg forward. Stay in the forward bend, shift the body weight forward, align the fingertips and the toes or the hands and the feet. Knees straight. Do not lift the hands off the mat, chest close to the thighs. Now as you inhale, stretch your body forward and then reach up. Push the buttocks all the way forward, look up to the hands, head in between the arms. Exhale, release. Maintaining the same kind of stretch. Left side, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms, up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go bra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Stretch up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, prayer. 
Inhale, lumps perch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way. Look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, in vajitri. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, lumps of arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Hold the breath, left leg back, plan. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, in vajitri. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Stretch up. Inhale, latch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, arms of arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Focus on the breath. Inhale, the left leg back. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, in vajitri. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right. Stretch up. Inhale, large back. Exhale, release. Last round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms to arch back. Exhale, reach forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted B. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Stretch up. Inhale, large back. Exhale, release. Inhale, last time on the left, the sixth round. Exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms to purge back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, in vajitri. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Stretch up. Inhale, large back. Exhale, release. That's very good. Please sit down. Lie down, take rest in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Slow down the breathing. From toes to the head, watch your body. Release all the tension and the tightness. Just let go. Relax, relax, relax.
Slowly bring your legs together. Take a deep breath in. Interlock your fingers and give a nice stretch to the body arms over the head. Stretch your body. Release the stretch. Let's prepare now for the single leg raises. Keep the legs together, arms by the side of the body. Move the shoulders down. Bring the chin into the chest and keep the toes pointing up. As you inhale, raise the right leg up with full awareness. Exhaling, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. <clears throat> Exhale down. Right leg, inhale up. Keep the knees straight, toes pointing in. Knees, uh, chin towards the chest. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Pull the back of the right thigh with both your hands. Bring the leg closer towards the body. As you exhale, raise the head and chest. Come up, pop the hands all the way up. Keep the knee straight, left thigh pushing down. Keep breathing. Relax the neck and the shoulders by softening the elbows. Focus on the breath. Feel a soothing pressure on the lower back. Every exhalation, keep trying to pull the leg more in. Slowly, as you exhale, put the head down. Bend the knee into the chest, hug it. Now we move into the Ananda Balasana on the right side. So hold the right sole from inside with your right hand. <coughs> Push the right knee down towards the mat. And now bring the awareness to the left side. Push the left buttock down. Your left hand can be on the left thigh or on the floor or on the abdomen. Keep the left buttock nicely glued to the mat. And the right leg perpendicular to the thigh. Focus on the breath, keeping the eyes closed. Now we open the right leg to the right. So those who can hold the right toe and stretch the leg, the knee straight, please go ahead. Right leg to the right. If your knee cannot remain straight, just leave the toe hold and hold the right thigh from inside with your right hand. Head can be in the center or you can turn the head to the left. Please keep the left buttock nicely pressing on the mat. Feel a good stretch in the pelvic region. Now release the toe hold and take the leg up, right leg up. Right arm in line with the shoulder. On the exhalation, release the right leg to the left side. And if you can hold the right big toe with your left hand, please go ahead. Or you can hold the outside of the right thigh with your left hand. This time, turn the head necessarily to the right. Press the right shoulder completely on the mat. Right knee straight. Focus on deep and slow breathing. Inhale, raise the right leg up, get the head back to the center. And with control, exhale, bring the right leg down, arms by the side of the body. Get the left leg up, inhale, hold the back of the left thigh with both your hands, bring the leg closer towards the body. As you exhale, raise the head and chest, come up, pop the hands up. Adjust your body, be more comfortable as you hold the posture. Allow a slow breathing, deep breathing, working on the lower back, stimulating the abdominal organs and stretching the hamstring muscle. Keep the neck relaxed. Try not to hold the posture with the strength of your neck, but hold it with the strength of the abdomen.
Slowly as you exhale, put the head down and bend the knee into the chest. And then move into the Anandabalasan on the left side. So keep pushing the left knee down without raising the right buttock. The right hand can be on the right thigh, on the floor or on the abdomen. <coughs> Now straighten the left knee. You can hold the left big toe or hold the thigh from inside. Keep the right buttock nicely pressing down. Breathe. Adjust your head for your own comfort. The right arm in line with the right shoulder. And then we'll interchange the leg position. So take the left leg up and lower it down to the right side. You can hold the toe or the outside of the left thigh with your right hand. Head is turned to the left side, left shoulder completely down, breathe. Focus on the breath. <coughs> Inhale, slowly come up and with control, exhale, bring the leg down. Now prepare for the double leg raises. Adjust your arms under the body or under the head or over the head or you can keep it just by the side of the body. Inhale, raise the legs all the way up. <coughs> exhale down. Inhale up. We'll do it six times. Exhale down. Third time, inhale up. Exhale down. Four up, inhale. Exhale down. Five up, inhale. Exhale down. Six up, inhale. Now hold the back of the thigh, stay here and breathe. Please separate your legs apart. Hold the thighs from inside. Either stay here and breathe. If you can, hold the toes. Please go ahead, but do not bend the knees and do not tuck, uh, lift the lower back. Knees should be straight if you hold the toes. Keep moving the legs wider, wider apart. Keep breathing. Now we move into the Anandabalasan. So bend the knees and hold the respective soles with your hands. Keep pushing the knees down without lifting the lower back. The shins perpendicular to the thighs. Close your eyes and breathe. Now join the soles together. And insert your arms between the legs to hold the toes. <clears throat> Keep pulling the feet in towards the body. On the exhalation, raise the head and chest. Come up. Try to touch the feet to the forehead. So wider the knees, easier it becomes to bring the feet to the forehead. Toes touching the head. And now let's rock the body forward and backward. So as you rock the body, try to touch the toes over the head. Very good. And if you can hold it there, please stay. <coughs> Find your balance with toes on the floor over the head. And slowly release. Bring the knees to the chest. Release the arms down. Raise the legs. Inhale. With control, exhale. Bring the legs down. Give a good stretch to the body and turn over, relax into the child's pose. Shishankasana. Body fully warmed up for the head stand.
Please sit up on the heels. Let's get ready for the headstand shishasana. Hold the opposite elbows and place the forearms close to the knees. Stretch your arms forward, interlock your fingers, lift the buttocks, put the top of the head down and the back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, straighten the knees up and walk forward. When you feel the back is straight, more forward, more forward. Bend the knees into the chest. Gently moving the knees up and threading the legs. Once you are up, relax the legs and close your eyes if you're very comfortable. All through the holding, keep your abdomen tucked in towards the back and still the body. Now separate the legs apart. Bring the legs together. One more time. Separate the legs apart. This time bend the knees and join the soles together. Keeping the knees nicely apart. Twist your hip to the right. First get the feet closer. Knees more apart. Center. And twist your hip to the left. Back to the center. Straighten the legs up. If it's possible, move the right leg down and the left leg back. Scissors. Switch your legs. Bring the legs together. Let's follow the steps to come out. Bend the knees. Bring the knees into the chest and bring the feet down. Child's pose. That's very good. Now please sit up and relax in Shavasan. Turn the head side to side. Relax. slowly bring your legs together interlock your fingers stretch your arms over the head and give a nice stretch to the body release the stretch preparing for the shoulder stand Sarvangasana shoulders down arms by the side of the body palms down feet together toes pointing up inhale raise the legs of the trunk support your back into the shoulder stand come up now adjust your body bend knees to the forehead Elbows more in, hands more towards the middle back. When you're ready, raise the legs. Come up into shoulder stand. Transfer the entire body weight to the shoulders if your neck is fine. Push the buttocks towards the head. And watch your legs. Relax the legs from toes to the buttocks. Just let go. Relax the facial muscles. Allow the blood 
to flow to the face. Do not restrict the blood flow. If you relax the muscles, facial muscles, the blood flows freely towards the brain, towards the head. Feel a good contraction in the, in the throat region that stimulates the thyroid and the parathyroid glands, the master gland of the body. The inversions encourage deep abdominal breathing. Sarvang Asana, as the name is, rejuvenates the whole body. Lengthen up the body as you inhale and on the exhalation, move the right leg over the head. Ekpadhalasan, inhale the right leg up. <clears throat> Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale the right leg down. Inhale up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale up. On the exhalation, bring both your legs down over the head in the halasan, plow pose. Once the toes touch the floor, please release the arms on the mat. If you're ready, interlock the fingers and pull the arms away from the head. Tailbone lifted up, spinal column straight, back straight, knees away from the forehead. Every exhalation, contract the abdomen. Keep breathing. The halasan plow pose uh, makes the spine flexible and stimulates the abdominal organs, stretches the hamstring muscle, nourishes the spinal nerves with an excellent posture. Are we ready to release the posture? So lift the toes off the floor. Use your arms as breaks. One vertebra at a time. Please bring the body down. And with the abdominal control, bring the legs down. Turn the head side to side and get ready for the Setu Bandhasana. Bend the knees, hold your ankles. As you inhale, lift your buttocks and come up. Make the thighs parallel to the mat as you lift the buttocks. Up and the chest breaks into the chin. Stay up and breathe. Feel a good arch in the spine, strengthening the abdominal uh, abdomen and the lower back, making the spine more youthful, strengthening the kneecaps, shedding weight back from the hips and the thighs. And slowly exhale. Please bring the body down. Now, prepare for Chakrasan. Place the hands under the shoulders. Fingers turned in. As you inhale, lift your buttocks and come up. Press the hands and come up. Hold it. Keep breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, slowly come down. Hug the knees into the chest. Press the lower back down. And on the exhalation, come up into the Bhavan Muktasan, head up, chest up. Try holding the opposite elbows and draw the knees more into the chest, leaving no space between the knees and the chest. Relax the neck. 
Stretch your chin, nose or forehead to the knees. Lower back should be pressing down. Slowly release the head down, raise the arms down, inhale, raise the legs and with control, exhale, bring the legs down. Let's do the counter stretch after shoulder stand, the fish, Matsyasan. Slide the arms under the body, elbows nicely in, shoulder blades together, hands stretching under the thighs. Head up, chest up as you inhale, come up, look to the toes. Exhale, arch your back and lower the head back, crown touching down. Body weight resting on the elbows. Now focus on deep and slow breathing, stretching the inhalation to the lower abdomen. And then as you exhale, feel the breath reach up right up to the collarbones. Long inhalation and longer exhalation. It's a magical posture, increases the lung capacity, makes the lungs stronger. Strengthens the cervical region. Those who have double chin or the rounded shoulders get a lot of benefit by holding this posture. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up, look to the toes. Exhale, bring the body down. Release the arms, rotate the wrist, turn the head side to side and relax in Shavasana. Feel the relaxation to the mind. Feel the peace, feel the calm in the mind. Releasing all the pent up feelings and the emotions. Just relax. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, arms over the head, give a good stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over and please sit up. Let us uh, do the butterfly. Bend the knees and join the soles together. Sit up straight from the lower back, move the knees up and down. Focus on pushing the knees to the mat. Now let's do the uh, Meru Vakrasan. Yeah. Now stretch the uh, legs, stretch the legs forward and separate the legs a little apart. Stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, twist your body to the right. Hold the right toes with your left hand and stretch the right arm away from the body towards the back. Look to the right. If it's possible, raise the left leg up. Sorry, the right leg up. And breathe. Slowly release. Let's change the side. Twisting the body to the left, hold the left toes with your right hand and stretch the left arm behind, look to the left. Increases the spinal flexibility and removes the stiffness from the back. Raise the leg up. Breathe. And slowly release the posture. Now bring the legs together and hold the right leg up in your arms. You want to face down that side, face the wall. Yeah. Bend the right knee and hold the right leg up in your arms. Let's do the rocking baby. Rock the leg side to side. Move the leg more up into the upper chest and still for two breaths. Hold the right foot or the right toes with your both hands and push the right knee away from the body, pulling the right foot up towards the ear, 
if you are more flexible or you can touch it to the nose and the forehead or the forehead. If you're very flexible, the foot will reach the ear as you see on the screen. Now holding the right toes with your right hand, just move the left hand forward if it's possible. Stay and breathe. And slowly release the posture. Let's change the side. Stretch the right leg forward, bend the left knee, hold the left leg up in your arms and wrap the leg. Now move the leg more up and still the body. Holding the left foot with both your hands, push the left knee away from the body and pull the foot up. Wherever it reaches, it's fine. Working on the hip joint. And then keep holding the left toe with your left hand, stretch the right arm forward. Stay and breathe. Akanada Nurasana. Slowly release. This works excellent on the back and the neck. Now get ready for Pashimatanasan. Extend your legs forward, lengthen your back, raise the arms, inhale up, stretch up. From the lower back, as you exhale, stretch forward and reach down. Hold the toes of wherever you can and still the body for a few breaths. Relax the neck and the shoulders. Do little but relax the body. Focus on slow breathing, deep breathing. Toning and massaging the abdominal organs. Stimulating the circulation to the nerves, the blood circulation and the muscles of the spinal column. Feel a good stretch in the hamstring muscle as you push the knees into the mat and pull the toes out. Inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Exhale, place the hands behind. Let's do the counter stretch to the body. Lower the head back, point the toes down. Inhale, raise the buttocks and come up. Try not to turn the feet outwards. Let the feet come down. Hold it for 10. Keep breathing. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Relax on your abdomen. Take a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Big toes touching, heels apart. Relax. Bhujangasana, the cobra. Place the forehead down. Bring your legs together. Toes pointing back. Hands under the shoulders. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up. Less pressure on the hands, press on the lower abdomen and lift your chest more up. Close your eyes and breathe. Toning the abdominal organs, <coughs> working on the back. The stretch uh, spreads from the upper back towards the lower back. Slowly exhale, come down. Turn the head to the left and relax. Dhanur Asan, the bow pose. Place the forehead down, bend the knees and hold your ankles. As you inhale, let, lift your knees and the thighs. And let the head and chest come up. Excellent. Keep pulling the legs more up 
the upper body more up. Imagine you're resting your body on just a soft area, small area around the navel point. Close your eyes, stretch the chin up and relax the face. Keep breathing, hold it. 10, 9, 8, almost done. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly release down. Place the posture, hands under the shoulders, come up on the knees and the hands. Let's give a good stretch in the Majriyasana. Inhale, push your hip back, arch the back and stretch your chin up. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin in, abdomen in. One more time, inhale, stretch. Exhale, round the back. Come to the neutral position. Now stretch your right arm forward. And the left leg back. Look down. Look down. Take two breaths. Press on the right shin bones. Center the body. Now bend the left knee and hold the left ankle with your right hand. Arch your back. Stretch the chin up. Look up. Keep pressing on the right shin bones so that body doesn't lean too much on the other side. Slowly release. Now stretch the left arm forward and the right leg back. Press on the left shin bones, look down. Breathe. Vyagrasana. Now bend the right knee and hold the right ankle with your left hand. Arch your back nicely so that the knee can come up more and stretch your chin up. Very good. Breathe. Excellent practice. Slowly release down and relax into the child's pose. Keep the knees together. Pour it down. Extend the arms forward. Just relax. <clears throat> slowly sit up for the half spinal twist Rasana. sit to the right side of your body bring the left foot across the right thigh place the left hand close to the tailbone place it down Right arm up, inhale, lengthen up the body as you exhale, twist to the left, lean forward, push the knee, left knee with your upper right arm, hold the ankle, look to the left shoulder, make sure both the buttocks rest on the mat, keep the back straight. Those who have the right shoulder raised up, please move the left foot a little forward so that the shoulders can be aligned and you become relaxed, more body becomes more relaxed. Close your eyes and breathe. Giving a good massage to the internal organs in the abdomen. Making the vertebral column more youthful, more flexible. Shedding extra fat from the abdomen, hips, hips and the thighs. Inhale, raise the right arm. Exhale, bring it down and change the side. Sitting to the left, bring your right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand behind, left arm up. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist to the right. Lean forward. Push your knee with your upper right arm, upper left arm and pull the ankle. Look to the right shoulder. Adjust your body for a better contraction in the abdomen. Relax the body. Keep the back straight. As you inhale, raise the left arm, release the posture, exhale and hug the knees into the chest. Rest with your knees, uh, forehead to the knees, relax here, breathe. 
release the posture. Let's move into the crow pose, Kakasana. Come up into the squatting position. Make a rough square with your hands and the feet. Rest your knees on the upper arms. Look at a point ahead of the hands. Transfer the body weight forward towards the hands until the feet lift up. Excellent. Slowly release the posture and stand up. Standing forward bend. Bring your feet together. Inhale, raise the arms. Lengthen up the body. As you exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Hold the ankles or wherever behind the legs. Shift the body weight towards the toes. Keep the toes separated. Bend the elbows there. Chest close to the thighs. Forehead close to the legs. Top of the head reaching down. Knees straight. And do not restrict the blood flow by tensing the neck. Let the blood flow towards the head, invigorating the entire nervous system, enhancing the memory. Feel the rush of blood to the face. Toning the abdominal organs, stretching the hamstring muscle. Now to release, soften the knees, dangle the arms loose and one vertebra at a time, please come up. A counter stretch to the body, sit feet apart, hip width, support your back, fingers towards the, towards the abdomen, thumbs towards the spine, lower the head back. Inhale, push your hip forward, drop the head back and breathe. Exhale, hold it. Slowly come up. Release the posture, preparing for the Trikonasana. Let's do the Parivrata Trikonasana. Separate the legs apart, three to four feet. Turn the right foot to the right, left foot in. Now, stretch your arms in line with the shoulders as you inhale. As you exhale, twist your body to the right. Bring the left hand down and the right arm up. Look up. Align the arms and breathe. Don't drop the head backwards. Just keep the arm in line with the uh, other arm, the arm that is up. Slowly come up. Take your time. Don't lose balance. And now changing the side, twist your body to the uh, left. Bring the right hand down and the left arm up. Look up. Keep breathing. Slowly inhale, come up. And exhale, bring the arms down. Join the legs together. Come to the front of the mat. Bring your... Uh, come to the front. Now please sit down and lie down. Time for final relaxation. Time for the body to integrate the effects of your practice. From toes to the head, just let go. So, slow down the breath. Abundant prana, which you've just generated with this practice is used for healing, energizing the system as you relax in Shavasana. So do not resist Shavasana. Let's do the tensing of the body parts. Lift your legs, two inches up, tense the legs, tense the legs and drop. Push the buttocks up, tense, tense and drop. Press the lower back into the mat, press it down, release, lift your chest up, up, drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders to the ears, Push the shoulders down, raise the arms to inches, make tight twist around the thumbs, tight, tight. Open the fingers and tense your arms, tense, tense and drop. Make a tight face, squeeze all the muscles to the nose, tight, tight, let go. Open the mouth, stretch your tongue and open the eyes wide, look to the forehead. Stretch your face, stretch, release, let go, close the mouth. 
Shoulders more down, gently turn the head to the right. And turn the head to the left. Back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body with the shoulders down, arms six to eight inches away from the body, palms stand up, chin close to the chest. Legs should be comfortably apart, toes falling to the sides. Mentally, relax the toes, the soles, the heels, and the ankles. Then still the body for the next five to six minutes. Relax the knees, the thighs, and the buttocks. Just let go in the legs. Say to yourself, my legs are relaxed. Relax the abdomen at the chest. Bring the awareness to the back. Relax the low back. The middle back. Upper back. The shoulder blades. The spine. Let gravity pull you down. Do not resist. Feel a good relaxation to the back. Say to yourself, my back is relaxed. Come aware of your arms. Ask the fingers, the palms, and the wrists. Ask the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms. The shoulders, the neck, and the throat. Say to yourself, the arms, shoulders, and neck are relaxed. Relax the chin, the jaw, the ears. Relax the cheeks, the nostrils. Soften the eyes and the forehead. Relax the top of the head. The back of the head. Feel a good relaxation in the upper body. Move the awareness to the internal organs. Visualize each organ in the abdomen and visualize a good relaxation in each organ. Relaxing the lungs, the heart, the brain. Visualize optimal health to all the internal organs and all the body systems. Let go in the mind. Relax the mind. Say to yourself, my body, my mind, my breath are in harmony and I'm completely relaxed. Relax.
They awaken the body. Move your toes, move your fingers, move the legs and the arms, turn the head side to side. Breathe more deeply. Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, give a nice stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over one side. Take your time. When you find yourself ready, please sit up for the final prayer. Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandim Pushri Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanan Vrityor Mokshir Mavritar Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandim Pushri Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanan Vrityor Mokshir Mavritar Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandim Pushri Vardhanam Urva Rukameva Bandhanan, Vityor Mokshir Mamrita, Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Manglam Bhavatu, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makasitu Kubhagave, Asitoma sat gamaya, Tamsoma jyoti gamaya, Rityor ma ritangamaya, Om Purnamada Purnamitam Purnat, Purnamudachyate, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Vashishyate, Om Shanti Shanti. Shanti. Thanks to the masters. Sariom Tatsa. Thank you, everyone.